Good day, everyone. I welcome you back to the moment of recovery. And as we have been looking together, the recovery of the lost man. And you know, we started by looking at the, the man, Jesus. The man that God formed as a model for us. And today, we are going to look, at, look together the formation of the man, Jesus. The formation of the man, Jesus. What really do we want to look from this topic? How did God form his man in the life of Jesus? And we are going to look at the book of Luke and chapter 2. And I would like to read the uh, verse 51 of Luke chapter 2 unto you. Why? I will tell you the story later. And the scripture says, and Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them, for his mother treasured all these things in our heart. Let's read verse 52. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. You know, Jesus at this point was at the age of 12. And he went with his uh, father and mother to the feast of Passover. And uh, something happened, they left him behind. And three days later, they found him in the midst of the teacher, the scholars of the Bible. And they were teaching and he was listening to them. And the scripture made us to understand something that they discovered that the young man was outstanding as regard the teaching of the word of God. So when his friend and man are found in the third day, how they said, son, why is it? Oh, you have worried us enough. We have been looking for you. And Jesus told them something. And don't you know that I must be about my father's business? But you discover something. He went home and stayed with them for 18 good years. For 18 years, we didn't hear anything about the Lord Jesus. But God was forming in him the man that he desired. No wonder the scripture says, and the man Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature. Let us look at the book of Luke and chapter 3 verse 22. You will see what God said about this man Jesus 18 years after. And the Bible says, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in a body form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Listen friends here this thing. 18 years after 18 years without hearing the about Jesus. But God was forming in him. So when he was about to start his ministry at the age of 20, this was the word of God that was spoken about him. An approver on his person that looked out of all men. I am well pleased with this man. I need to tell us something here today that friends, it doesn't matter who you are, here we are talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. I, 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 we are going to pause at this point. And I need to take this thing over. The formation of the man that God desired, whether for ministry, whether for home, whatsoever thing that God desired to do on earth, the formation of that man is not something that will be sudden, but something that will take time. It took God 18 years to form his man in Jesus. This Jesus was the Jesus that was born of the Holy Spirit. Let me read something unto you with the book of Hebrews as we conclude so that we can pray for today. The book of Hebrews chapter 5, and let's read verse 8 and 9. And the word of God says, Although he was a son, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Listen, he learned obedience. The formation of a man that God created, you need to submit yourself to him. You need God to walk upon your life. It's not going to be automatic. It's not going to be sudden. It will take time. But if you can learn from God, I'm telling you, at the end of the day, the man that God desires will be formed in you. We will continue from here. As we are going to continue to look at this man, Jesus, and how God formed him. Can we pray together? And so, Father, we say thank you. You have started showing us the man, Jesus. And you have exposed us to one fundamental thing today. And that is not automatic. And that is also going to take time. Father, I pray for my viewers today. As they are willing to submit themselves unto the learning process, the formating process of the man that God created, that God, you will form in them. You will form Jesus in them. And you will live the life of Jesus. Everywhere they find themselves. Thank you. 